So in the last video we built a basic oscillator in MIMS and built a max patch around it. We can excite the model with force impulses and listen to it, but at the moment we can't change any of the physical parameters. And that's what we're going to be looking into in this video. So as I mentioned earlier, MIMS has a help section uh, which will give you the expected parameters and initial values for all of the modules when you click on them. This allows to check the syntax of the scripting language and check the order of the parameters, for instance. MIMS allows to create parameter variables, and what these allow is basically to address many physical modules with the same parameter, and this parameter can be accessed from the outside world, meaning that when you're in the max patch, you can actually dynamically modify these parameters. So here I'm going to change the hard-coded parameters for this mass spring oscillator by labeled parameters, which will allow for this uh, real-time control. So I'll call them M, K, and Z, and they correspond to the mass, stiffness, and damping values. So the next step is to create a new GenDSP file and reference this new file inside the max patch that we previously coded. So if we look into this new file, we can check that it does indeed contain these MKZ parameters. So now all we need to do is complete the max patch so that we can change these parameters in real time. And this is done by sending this type of message to the gen patch. So now we can control the stiffness value of the oscillator in real time. If I divide it by 10, the fundamental frequency drops. And if I divide it by 100, it drops further still and we need to make sure that the signal doesn't clip as um, less stiffness means larger amplitude oscillations for the same amount of force impulse. Now we can use the same system to change the damping value in real time as well. So this is going to be the Z parameter. Increasing the damping parameter leads to very fast decay times. And if we lower it, we have a fairly undamped system. Here again, we need to be careful for clipping as energy accumulates into the system. Okay, this seems to give a reasonable decay time, so we'll go with this one for now. And finally, we can modify the mass parameter. So the mass in relation to the stiffness and damping will also define the behavior of the object. If we increase the mass, it's heavier and it oscillates with a lower pitch. So there we have it, very basic parameter modification for a very simple model.